Hello again. I am back with another cosplay review. Um, this one is a little bit different. It's a Twisted Wonderland. It is star sending. Um, it's technically Trey's star sending, but I'm gonna be using it for Cater, which is kind of exciting. So I got this off of AliExpress from the seller in Cost. Um, I got a slightly larger size than I usually do. I got this in a 3XL. I usually kind of stay in the uh, XL to 2XL size, but when I check my measurements um, against their size chart, this seemed to be the one that would work the best. So we will see how that goes. Um, it shipped really fast. The seller warned me that it was going to take a little bit longer, and then it proceeded to not take longer. So I don't know what was up with that. Um, but either way, let's just start looking at the pieces. All right, so here is the big outer piece. Um, here's a little thing for some invisible straps to keep them up, and they did send the invisible straps as well, so that's cool. Uh, this is all screen printed on, you can see here. So it's not gonna give like any actual shine. If you want to bedazzle it, you absolutely can. Um, I have already decided if I'm going to bedazzle another thing, I have to actually buy a bedazzler because hand doing it was pretty much the most miserable thing I ever did. I did that for my ceremonial robes, which I meant to take like a more detailed shot of and I never did. That is my goal for this year is on both TikTok and Instagram and YouTube shorts. I'm gonna do like, here's like the cosplay. Ooh, ah, look at it. Like when I wear it to a convention um, so that you can see like what I ended up improving on it and um, things like that. That's my goal. We'll see if I actually do it. I get very distracted at conventions and then forget to do that. Anyway, away from that, back on the cosplay. Um, you can see here, it's sort of a, a little bit of a cheaper looking gold, but I, I still think it's pretty and I really like this fabric that they put for the yellow here. Um, I mean, you know, just looking at it, I think it looks nice. Uh, here's, oh, let me bring this up. This is kind of cool. I think it needs to be a little fuller, but I'm not complaining too much. Um, overall, I think it looks quite nice. It definitely needs to be steamed because it's got some wrinkles, but other than that, yeah, I'm satisfied with how this looks so far. All right. So this goes around the waist. They made this very, very large, which, um, I guess it's good if you wanted a little wiggle room, but also this is so large that when I kind of try to tie it, you can see they want you to tie it with um, these, but I overlap so much that I'm like getting into the fabric. So yeah, <laughs> um, it's a pretty easy fix. And again, I'd rather have something too big than too small, but yeah. And you can see, normally they put like a protective thing over these tassels so they don't get so messy and tangled. They did not do that with um, this particular part. So they're a little messy. I gotta brush them out a little bit. Okay, next we have the black undershirt. There's really not a lot to say about this because it's literally exactly what it is. It's a black undershirt. This goes around the neck. Um, the whole back is open, which is fun. <laughs> And then um, on that kind of realm, also the tights. Um, I find when it comes to pants, tights, things like that, cosplay shops can be a little rough. Um, so sometimes I have to replace these. I don't know if I will have to with these, but here they are. They do have the feet out because the boys are just free gripping. Next, we've got their toga. It is Night Raven College after all. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Anyway. Um, here's their little toga thing. You can maybe hear it. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Um, they have these little plastic things down here. Uh, I don't know yet. Part of me likes them. They look really cool on camera, but then another part of me hates them and wants to replace them with something prettier. I haven't decided yet if I will do that. Um, <laughs> but just know it's there in my brain as a possibility. Same with this uh, like diamond thing here. If I can find something um, that's very similar to this shape that I like more, I will probably replace that. Um, but this just being picky, honestly, on my part, it's not something I would knock like the cosplay necessarily for. I knew what I was getting, um, so 
you know, it is what it says it is. <laughs> so this cosplay, I already knew, did not come with any of the head accessories. Um, so that is something to keep in mind, but it does come with the accessories that go across the chest, which is the only thing that's pretty much different between the boys is uh, what's on their chest and what's on their head. Um, and again, it doesn't even come with the stuff on the head. Uh, and again, this is Trey's version. So this is what Trey has on his chest. So we've got this first part, this is really delicate. It's just held together literally with hot glue and safety pins. Um, you can also see this one is sagging a little bit compared to this one. I already fixed it slightly. Um, so I need to go a little further and I did put the protective wrap on these. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a little bit, a little bit flimsy. And then this is the necklace that kind of go goes on like underneath. Um, see it here you can also well you probably can't see but there are hot glue strands all over it um, but it does feel at least a little bit more secure than the other part did um, hopefully both of them are pretty secure but who knows um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try that on for you and you can get a feeling for that all right Ignore my totally bare face with my nice dark eyebrows in this. I am so lazy for cosplay try-ons. <sighs> you remember when I was young, like, you know, two years ago, and would actually put on makeup when I did these? I'll still do it sometimes if it's like a sponsored post or if I'm just feeling very overzealous, um, which has happened before, but I'm usually just too lazy to do makeup. Use your imagination. It's not about that anyway. You're not ranking how well I pull off the cosplay. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna be doing Cater for this because uh, the only character that was left of like the canon characters that my group had was Ortho, who has like a robot version. I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. so I just went with Cater. I know, not Apple. Um, I've just been doing a lot of Ethel. I last year cosplayed Ethel at least, like not different outfits, just like cosplaying Ethel at least six times. So I definitely needed like a little breather of doing another character. And so uh, Cater is actually my second favorite character. So I was like, why not? KK. Anyway, I just gotta start focusing. Uh, so it's actually really nice. It is a little bit big, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but when I looked at the measurements, this is what said would fit me over the 2X um, that I would usually get. Uh, I would still exercise some caution. Um, I do find it is always best to go off the measurements because you just never know. And it is easier to take things in than it is to try and expand things. So um, overall, it's very cute though. Uh, I usually go from like the top to the bottom, so I'll try to do that, but it's kind of weird because they're all almost on top of each other. Uh, the black undershirt is quite nice, um, especially this like pleather thing, or that's actually part of the toga. But the black undershirt's nice. I just get even distracted by this because I like it, the pleather of the toga. This is really cheap looking, especially like with everything else being more 3D. So I've pretty much determined that like, I'm gonna find a way to fix this. Uh, maybe like if i can find a diamond shaped jewel i'll just plop that on there if not i might uh do like some resin casting or something and then of course i don't have the head accessories uh right now i'm planning on probably the tray of our group said that they have an idea for how to make those um, so i'll be going with that if their idea falls through or anything like that then um, I'll probably do a little bit of like kind of thrifting to get it together. Um, I'm not super confident in my ability for any kind of resin casting, uh, and I don't own a 3D printer. Um, although I do know somebody who does, but I don't like to just be like, come here, let me use your 3D printer. Uh, anyway, uh, this is all nice. This feels very like... <laughs> Uh, I don't, I guess loose would be the word, like, um, I feel like if I, like, just start dancing or something, which, if you've ever been to an anime convention, is something that can very likely happen, um, that this is, like, liable to just, like, 
pop apart on me. Um, so it's something that I'm kind of mindful of. Um, I am wearing a binder and you can see it. Um, so if that's something that bothers you, you're gonna have to open chest bind. I don't, I don't need my back shown anyway. I almost never get back photos as is. So it doesn't make a difference to me. I would recommend making sure that your binder is black though, uh, because otherwise it will stand out too much because you can see it a little bit on the edge and then of course on the back. Um, this middle part is like <laughs> super like tied around because it's basically folded in on itself because it's so big. Uh, but I think I made it work. Um, and the leggings aren't bad. They go all the way up to like my chest though. Um, so they're, they're big, um, but because I'm already like, you can't see it, I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, it's actually quite nice. Uh, seeing like this, I don't think I'm probably going to bedazzle it because you can't really even see it that much. Uh, unless I'm just feeling like really overzealous because this con is not until May and I have nothing better to do. Um, but otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I think I'm pretty much just gonna replace this and then make the, the headpiece. Um, but yeah, so that's the end. There it is. Mm -hmm. So reading is kind of hard because what I ordered is what I got. And I mean, you can't ask for too much more than that, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, and the quality is so impeccable. Like, it's not bad, but it's nothing to like, you know, tell your friends, rush to, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, so I think I'll give it, I think I'll go with like an eight. I think that's reasonable. Um, maybe an eight and a half. I do quite like it. It's kind of what I wanted. There's a few things that I don't like, but um, they're exactly like the picture said they would be, so. You know, I knew that this was gonna be fabric. I knew it wasn't gonna come with the headpiece, you know? So, it sucks, but I knew it was going to do that, you know? If that makes any sense, what I'm trying to say. If you wanna star sending and you don't mind doing a little bit of work, this is a great thing to get, is essentially what I'm going for here, guys. <laughs> so, like I said, I did get this off of AliExpress. Um, I can tell based off of the listing and also based off of other things that this cosplay shop has, they are a Taobao reseller. I know when I ordered this, and this could have changed by now, it said that they only had like 10 left available or something like that. I don't know if that's just something they have put on there and they like frequently update it, or if it's got something to do with the fact that they are ordering off of a Taobao shop. So. Um, especially with AliExpress listings, you just never know and it is something to keep in mind. And I, if you go and use like a Taobao agent, you could probably get this cosplay a little bit cheaper than what I paid for it. Um, but AliExpress does save you a lot of that hassle of trying to deal with Taobao, um, which is sometimes not my personal favorite. Uh, but I do know in particular Twisted Wonderland is really hard to find multiple listings of. Um, I am actually currently in the market for Broom K, uh, Apple in particular, he's back, um, and it has been the drama. I think I'm gonna get a Jamil and then just like heavily alter it to look like Apple's, but I haven't fully decided. It's really hard. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I'm going to be wearing this to Momocon. There is a Twisted Wonderland photo shoot. Woo, ah! It is Sunday of the convention, which um, Momocon this year is Friday to Monday, not Thursday to Sunday, it's Friday to Monday. So Sunday is a regular full day. 
a la like Saturday normally of a convention. I'm putting that out there because I'm about to say something next. It's at 6 p.m. I know, I know. But it's a regular day and that way it's not too hot because it is outside. I'm sorry. It just worked out best. <laughs> but I do hope to see you there if you are cosplaying Twisted Wonderland um, or even if you're just a fan, I absolutely welcome people to just stare at the cosplayers um, respectfully. Uh, I also did submit for a panel there. I don't know if I've got that yet or not. I don't find out till March. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one, which if everything goes according to plan, I believe should be Final Fantasy 14. Bye!